Hi, I'm Michael Piacenza with Advantage Pest Control in St. Petersburg, Florida. And a very common question here in this part of the country is, how do I kill fleas in my home? Well, there's a lot of different approaches, and I try to take the safest approach possible. Okay? So the first thing you want to do is clean the environment. All right? You vacuum the house, try to suck up as much of the, uh, the live fleas and the eggs and the larvae. So you, you want to get the, the pet taken care of as well. Uh, a dip is a good idea, a good flea bath. Uh, some people like to put the topical applications on, like uh, these uh, Advantage and Frontline and stuff like that. I'm a little bit uh, hesitant with those type of products, especially if you have children in the house, because you put that on the pet, and then the children play with the pet, and they're actually touching an insecticide. So I use myself and my dog, I use an oral uh, called Comfortis and only when he has a problem with fleas. Okay, so now you've got the pet taken care of, you gotta take care of the environment, all right? So after you've done all your cleaning and vacuuming, then it's the time to call in a professional, or you can try this yourself. And I like to use a combination of boric acid mixed with a, a botanical pesticide from EcoSmart. I use the EcoSmart Exempt. It's so safe it's exempt from EPA regulations. So I mix that at a ratio of about one to one with the boric acid and do a liberal dusting throughout the entire house, especially paying attention to the dog's beds, furniture, rugs, especially a rug where the dog or cat likes to lay. You know, um, even on the, the bedding on top of the, uh, your bed, if the dog likes to get up there. So you get this dust distributed throughout the house underneath the uh, furniture, especially in carpeted areas. Okay, so now what this is going to do is it's going to attack the eggs and the larva, right? You're going to stop the cycle. The eggs and the larva are going to be either dried up uh, through a desiccant property within the boric acid, or they're going to ingest it uh, as a larva and then they can't digest anything. So you've stopped that next generation, right? Then they go into the pupa stage. Uh, well, in that stage, they're like in a cocoon. They're in their armor. You really can't do much to them and they hatch out as adults. Now, if you want to attack the adults as well, you want to use an adulticide. You know, I use uh, products maybe from like Precor, where it has a, a growth regulator mixed in with it as well. They're fairly safe products, but they're still a synthetic, a light synthetic, okay? So, what you want to do is wear a mask. It's always a good idea when you're working with any kind of a dust or aerosol, okay? Do the dusting first, then go back through with the aerosol and then just let it settle out. So leave the premises for about a half an hour and let that all settle out. When you come back, air it out a little bit for the, any residual gases and that should take care of the problem for about seven to 10 days. Then you're gonna get those pupas hatching out and you're gonna have another batch of adults. And you might have to hit it again with the aerosol spray. The dust, as long as you can leave that dust there, it will continue to work. Uh, so. That's the nice way to handle it where you're hitting all the different stages of the flea. All right? It's about the safest way to do it as well. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Michael Piacenza with Advantage Pest Control in sunny St. Petersburg, Florida. Have a good day.